Hi, I'm Renee LaCroix with the City of Bellingham's Natural Resources Division of Public Works. This fall, salmon migrating up Squalicum Creek will swim through a new stream channel with access to upstream tributaries and important fish habitat that has been blocked for over 50 years. The new channel is part of a project to reroute nearly a mile of Squalicum Creek, improving water quality and fish habitat for our community. Squalicum Creek was once considered prime spawning habitat for important fish species like salmon, steelhead, and coastal cutthroat trout. However, as the area developed, the creek was diverted from its natural stream channel and into two shallow water bodies known locally as Sunset Pond and Bug Lake. These ponds originated during the 1960s when the waters of the creek entered two gravel borrow pits left over from the construction of Interstate 5. In the ponds, stagnant conditions led to an unhealthy increase in water temperature, low levels of dissolved oxygen, and an increase in fecal coliform bacteria. Today, a project by Bellingham Public Works Natural Resources has returned Squalicum Creek to its own stream channel to improve water quality conditions. Instead of traveling through the pond, the creek now runs roughly parallel to the pond through its new stream channel until it reaches the James Street Bridge built by the City of Bellingham in 2015. The creek flows under the bridge and continues west, traveling through its newly restored channel until it reaches Interstate 5 where it passes under I-5 through a new three-sided box culvert built by the Washington Department of Transportation. Both the bridge at James Street and the I-5 culvert are designed to support fish migration and replace old culverts that used to prevent fish from moving upstream. As part of the project, large woody debris has been added to the stream channel to create stable habitat. These trunks and root wads mimic the trees that would naturally fall into a mature stream. The logs create pools for salmon and other fish to rest and find shade. In addition, they provide stream bank stability until the surrounding vegetation matures enough to create a naturally balanced system. Now that the in-stream work is done, the city will begin the process of planting native trees and shrubs along the new streamside habitat. Community work parties will be co-hosted by Bellingham Public Works, Parks, and the Nooksack Salmon Enhancement Association. The City of Bellingham's Washington Conservation Corps crew will continue planting throughout the year, as well as controlling invasive species for the next decade or until the native vegetation becomes well established. The rerouting of Squalicum Creek not only benefits fish, but supports birds, amphibians, and other wildlife, while making a significant step towards returning healthy water quality to Squalicum Creek. As the vegetation matures, the area will develop into an exciting urban fish and wildlife viewing area, ideal for bird watchers and day hikers. The project is being closely coordinated with the development of the Beta Baker Trail, which will provide viewpoints into the new creek upon its completion, scheduled for the fall of 2016. Currently, the best place to view the new stream channel is from the new James Street Bridge near Sunset Pond Park. If you do see salmon in the creek, it's important to give them space. Be sure not to disturb the salmon or enter the creek. Also, please keep dogs on a leash and out of the creek so they don't disturb the gravel beds where salmon lay their eggs. Sunset Pond will continue to receive water directly from its own drainage basin, and Sunset Pond Park will remain open as a public park and a gateway to future trails. Construction costs to reroute Squalicum Creek were $1.9 million. Portions of the funding came from a Washington Department of Ecology Centennial Clean Water Grant and a low interest loan as part of the State Clean Water Revolving Fund. The next phase of in-stream restoration on Squalicum Creek will address similar water quality issues associated with Bug Lake. Construction is anticipated around 2017. The completion of this phase of the Squalicum Creek reroute coincides with the annual return of our local salmon runs. With the removal of fish passage barriers paired with immediate improvements to water quality, salmon may begin using the new creek channel as early as this fall, and for the first time in over 50 years, these fish will have access to spawning grounds in the upper watershed of Squalicum Creek. This is a project of the City of Bellingham's Public Works Natural Resources Division. For more information, visit www.cob.org slash squalicum.